Hey guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're gonna take a walk around a bear track, seven by 20 foot, 7,000 pound gravity tilt aluminum car hauler. This particular unit's gonna weigh in at about 1,500 pounds empty. It's gonna give a net legal payload of about 5,500 pounds. Plus you're gonna pick up some truck side tongue weight. Everything shown here is standard equipment. The only thing not standard would be your front rock guard. But again, everything else on this particular unit is standard. Rock art is unboldable, so if we've got one in stock with one and you don't want one, uh, pretty easy to take off. If you do want one added and we have one without, uh, we can get one in. So let's take a look up front at the trailer. It's going to have a Demco Easy Latch coupler. Coupler's nice. It automatically latches shut. It does use a 2-inch ball. has a swivel jack. Also has pretty heavy safety chains for a for a 7k trailer uh, it's got a traditional wishbone style uh, front tongue setup you've got tubular outriggers in your center wishbone of course uh, this has brakes on both axles you've got your safety uh, breakaway battery in box four d-rings are standard equipment they do a backers underneath now on a 20 foot trailer you're going to have two foot of stationary up front and an 18 foot tilt deck platform uh, 20 foot is an ideal size gets you a really super low load angle you can get most vehicles uh, loaded on this trail without a problem the trailer is designed for an extruded aluminum floor uh, typically when you get an extruded floor the the um, the extruded is going to run perpendicular to the trailer and then you'll have on most of this style trailer um, three cross members running parallel to the trailer underneath so on both sides, you're gonna have a safety latch. I undid the other one. So you've got one of these on both sides. And then this does have a stop valve. So the nice part about the stop valve right now, I've got it in the open position down. Uh, this direction is gonna be 90 degrees will be your closed position. And underneath you'll see your cylinder there. Stop valve simply gonna shut off flow and allow it to lock into the position it's in. So let's go ahead and unlatch the handle. So it's got front and rear gussets with a tread plate fender. It does have uh, some stainless hardware for corrosion resistance. It's got a 205-75R14 uh, radial tire with an aluminum wheel. Pretty slick setup the way they did it. I just really like the way Bear Tracks uh, attention to detail. We've got a fender gusset, pivot points, and again, fender's removable. So if you've got a nice low car, you can take that off. Uh, fully straight. It's got a reverse dovetail. More weight you put on, it'll come up a little bit faster. I haven't seen an angle uh, on this from the manufacturer, but just from some of the other trailers we carry, I'm going to guess this is about a seven degree angle, maybe. Uh, looks to be real similar to what we get with our quick load trailers, our uh, rollback units. Uh, integrated stop turn tail light thin strips and then your center markers we do also stock this unit in a 10,000 gvw it's going to be just a touch deeper angle because you've got taller rubber and a 10,000 pounder i believe weighs closer to 2,000 pounds so on it you're going to get about an 8,000 pound legal payload plus your tongue weight I'll show you underneath i really like the way bear track frames these out so you've got custom dies You've got tube here on your frame. You've got a guide that's uh, on the bed frame. You've got an I-beam nestled bed frame. Also notice going back, every cross member is actually welded to your I-beam. You look a lot of manufacturers, they won't be on every one. You've also got your I-beam center rail and you've got your cushion cylinder in the center. Torsion, uh, suspension, standard equipment. Really like to finish a bear track. Uh, good quality stuff, good guys to deal with. Just uh, certainly a pretty top quality aluminum. There's other nice stuff out there in the market, but uh, these guys are uh, small enough that I'll say they seem to pay attention to some of the smaller details that sometimes get, uh, get forgotten about on some of the finish quality. So again, this one here would be an 18 plus two, 20 foot, 7,000 pounder, net payload of about 5,500 pounds, plus your tongue weight, you're gonna pick up another 15% or 1,000 pounds to the truck. 
It says 14 inch rubber as well. It's a 205 75 14. Just gets you down a little bit lower than 15 inch rubber for the lowest possible load angle. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a shout, 717-220-4220, or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thank you.